all my life I've always wanted to measure. I'm not interested in opinions. if we're just talking about porting and polishing and gas yeah. flow, gas various flow, yeah. terms, we're changing the shape. The polishing is just a sales thing. If it's not shiny, you can't sell it. So the polishing doesn't gain you any power? No, it doesn't gain you any power. The thing that matters is the shape. I've taken some valves out, because this one's particularly bad on the exhaust. There's quite a lump in there, isn't it? There's, there's a big step, yeah. And, and is it, that just left from the cast then? That's just left from the machine. Oh, then they just stop? And then it just stops, so then you just, so you've got a big step. Yeah. And it looks horrendous. But I can tell you now because I've already done the work, you can smooth all that out and I've got um, I've got a port here. If you look in there yeah. where I've taken all the stamp and everything out yeah. uh, and I gain almost nothing. It will look much faster if I polish it. It would yeah. Yeah. It would. Uh, and it's easier to sell. The first thing you discover is that a big hole flows more air than a small hole. Really? Yeah, yeah, amazing. Isn't How it? expensive are flow benches? Because I'm um, I reckon I could have guessed that. Uh, the, the, the trick is that to get the shape that gives you the best flow for the given valve size. Mm. And that depends on how high you're lifting the valve. Right. But if you've got a conventional follower where the cam lobe is rubbing against the follower, if it accelerates too fast, it squeezes all the oil out between the cam and the follower and they wear out. Right. And that was the classic problem with the pin. I thought you might mention them. Yeah. Dreadful things. This is a very old-fashioned flow bench. Um, it's about 30 years old, right. same as me. I think it's you who told me when you did your apprenticeship, one of the tasks that you were given was to take a piece of steel and file it into an absolute Yeah, five eight black bar, and it had to be half inch. And what was the tolerance? Five, like? five thousandths of an inch. Five thousandths of an yeah. inch. Yeah. And it makes you pretty good with hand tools. Yeah, but if you went under, they'd throw it in the bin and make you start again. Oh, they wouldn't just make you look oh, no, no, smaller? No, no. Um, you, if you make that hole massive, it's going to flow more air, but it doesn't necessarily mean to say um, it's going to go any better. Yeah, you have to plug it in. Yeah. Um, I'm working on that one. You want to switch it on as well? Is it not on? I can't see. Yep. Um, right. I'll just go and shoot the full lift. <laughs> Again. That's why that valve is there, to catch idiots like me <laughs> um, who are trying to get a massive flow through that little diddy diddy yeah. hole. Okay. Yeah, let's cut through the nonsense and, uh, and measure things. Okay, we'll see yeah, you then. We'll give you the power output, the torque, and we'll have the flow figures to back it up. Great. Okay, look forward to it. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.